happy return. So the arithmetic series. Now in this kind of sequences that we're studying, so this is kind of for grade 11, um, we have touched on the arithmetic sequence, which basically just meant it's a sequence which uh, starts with a particular term and then it increases um, consistently by exactly the same amount or decreases consistently by the same amount. Now, for that arithmetic sequence, okay, if you like, you can take a look. I'll put up a, a link up above there for you. So I'm going to assume that you had it. And I'm providing here kind of the equation for the nth term in those arithmetic sequences. So if you wanted to find the nth term, it was just equal to whatever the first term was plus the difference okay, between your terms. So the actual, if it's increasing or decreasing, so that will be our D. And then N just stands for the term. So once we know this, we can find out basically any term in the sequence. So we can find you know, the third term, the fifth term, the hundredth term, whatever term that we like. Now, in the arithmetic series, Okay, so the word series kind of means that you're going to be summing things up. So you're going to be adding these terms up. So what if someone came along and said, hmm, well, you know, here is a arithmetic sequence, let's say one, and let's say it's increasing by two. Then it goes to three, and then it goes to five, then it goes to seven, okay, and then continues on. So from here, we can identify what the nth term is. Okay, so we would know that the nth term is equal to our first term, which is just one, plus, now the difference between them, okay, so in this case they are increasing by two, so our d would have been two, and then this would have been just n minus one, and we have our kind of um, equation for our nth term. So we can find out any term. But now, what if they said, well, I don't really want to know just the nth term, what if I wanted to know what the sum of the first 30 terms is? So now, if they said, what's the sum of the first five terms, you can say, well, I can just add them up. It's not really a big deal. But if they say, you know, if you want to know the sum of the first 30 terms, you'd be going, oh my gosh, that's, that's a lot of addition that I'm going to have to go through. I mean, sure, I can do it. Okay, but if then they turn around and they say, well, what's this sum of the 300 okay, uh, terms in the sequence, then you're going to start going like, okay, you know, I, I don't really want to count for that long. So is there a way that we can find a general expression for the sum for this arithmetic sequence, the sum of n terms? Now, we call that summation of the nth term basically the arithmetic series. Okay, so we're going to work with this and we're going to try to see if there is maybe a pattern, okay, that we're going to go through. And I'm going to come back to this, okay, and we're going to try to find, okay, what the sum, now I'm going to refer to the sum as S and then, you know, we said 30, okay, so sum of N, okay, so N meaning the N terms that I'm interested in. And now I'm going to come back and try to see if I can find the sum of the first 30, 30 of this particular sequence. So let's generalize this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to use a, 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 a touch of a guess, um, sorry, a, a little bit of a trick from Gauss. Okay, so you maybe haven't heard of it, it's okay. So I'm going to just show you how we can trick this and find a very nice expression for the summation of any terms that we like. Okay, so now let's go back and think. So if I wanted to know um, what the sum okay, would be, so again, I'm going to refer to the sum as S. And if it was just one term, well, that's very easy, right? I would say, okay, well, I'm just going to be adding the first term. Um, so no, no, no addition at all. It's actually just one. Now, if I want to know the sum of the first two terms, so I'm going to say sum of the term number one plus, you know, term number two. And now I can continue on. So I can go all the way into as many terms as I like. Now I can do it the brute force way and just add them. Okay. And now I'm going to put a subscript here, the summation of the n terms, right? And I want to know what this is. Okay. So I'm going to show you this is the trick uh, in order to find the actual general expression.
I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say, what if I wanted to sum it up again? Okay, so I'm gonna have this, but instead of summing from the first term, I'm gonna sum up backwards. So I'm gonna say, let me start with the nth term, okay? Then it would have been, and I'm gonna go down in the sequence. So n minus one, you know, plus so on until eventually I get to term number one, okay? So that's just in reverse. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna say, let's add these up together. So I'm gonna add up these two. Well, if I add up the sum n plus the sum of n, so this is gonna be equal to two sn, okay? Because I have two of them, one, two. And now notice what's going to happen here. I'm gonna just kind of show you. So I'm gonna take Okay, the addition of these two, okay, because I'm going to be trying to add up um, all of these terms up together. But I'm going to show you something interesting. If I take this, okay, I'm going to write it in here. So this would have been term one plus term n. Now, what is term one plus term n? I know what term n is, right, because we have the formula for that. Okay, we have the equation for the nth term. So this really is my term number one plus, now term n is term one plus the difference minus n minus one. And, okay, so if I do this, okay, so what I'm gonna have, I can obviously just drop the brackets. So I'm gonna have T1 plus T1 plus D and N minus one. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna have in there. And now, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing, except for these two terms. So what are these two terms, if I'm gonna be adding them up together, what will they give me? Well, obviously, they're gonna give me T2 plus Tn minus one. But what is T2? Well, T2 is just term number one plus the first difference, that's term T2. What's term n minus one? Well, I'm gonna put it back in brackets here. That is term one. I'm just using the equation here. So instead of n, so n is gonna be n minus one. So if I substitute that back in here, then what I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get n minus one. That's my n minus one. So that's just from the formula. And now if I take this, so I'm gonna just show you right here, and I'm gonna simplify this, let me copy it, okay? And I'm gonna purposely kind of bring it down here. Notice what this will equal. So I'm gonna manipulate this back. So this is gonna be term one, okay? Now those brackets are kind of useless, so I'm gonna write term one again, okay, right here. Now I have, so what I have here is I have D plus, Okay, notice that what I have in there, so if I bring this D inside of this bracket, so really what I'm gonna have is, this is gonna be D times N, okay, minus, notice that negative one and negative one, so that's gonna be two D, okay, so that's that. And now, well, wait a minute, D minus this, this is just gonna be D N, minus just one D, which equals, so if I take the D out, this is just N minus one. So if I write this in here, because that's what this is, so this is D and N minus one. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Notice that the summation of term one plus term N is equal to exactly the same thing here, which is term two, plus term n minus one. So these are identical. So it turns out that if you would continue doing this, when if you were summing it up, okay, then all of these are equal to exactly the same thing. They are all equal to T1 plus Tn. So you have one of them, two of them, and you go on, you have n of these. So that summation that I had, I'm gonna just add an extra page here. 
So this summation, that's interesting. So what it says is, I have, so this is 2SN, so that's again coming from right here because we added these two up together. And then as I add up every single kind of column, so I have N of those columns, so that equals N of those columns, and every column is equal to T1 plus Tn. Well, that's a lot nicer. So it turns out that now if I want to solve for Sn, I can just divide both sides by 2. So that's going to cancel this, and it's going to give me that the sum of this arithmetic series, so meaning taking the sequence of n terms, is nothing else but n divided by 2 multiplied by the first term plus the last term in that sequence. And if you want, you can of course rewrite this because we know what term n is. So this is n over 2 equal to, so this is t1 plus term tn is t1 plus d minus n minus 1. So I can simplify this in this form. So this is going to be 2 t1 plus d n minus 1. Now, both of these work, okay? So this is the actual general equation for the sum of the n terms, okay, in these arithmetic sequences, or we can call it arithmetic series. So if I go back in here and, you know, coming back in here, and if I wanted to know what the 30th, okay, so the summation of the first 30 terms is, from 1 and then increasing by 2, so then 3, 5, 7, then I don't have to add them up. All you have to do is you have to say, well, okay, so in this case, this is from our example. So what we have is that the sum of 30 of our sequence, okay, in here, 1, 3, 5, and so on. So that series added up together. If I use the formula, then I have, so n is 30, divided by 2, okay? Now, I know term 1, so term 1 is 1, plus. Now, term n, okay? I don't know what the term n is in here, but I know that the, I have the formula right there. So I can just use this right here, okay? So that would have been, let me, I'm going to use this right here, so 2 times term 1 plus the difference, which is 2, and then n, so that's 30 minus 1, and you can now do the arithmetic and you'll find the answer. So the answer in here, so it's going to be 15, 2 plus, so this is going to be 29, so that's 58, so this is nothing else but 15 times 60, okay? And you have your answer whatever that might be, okay? So it's 600, I guess, and then five, so it'll be what, 900 as our answer. So that's the summation of that. So that's pretty neat. So here are the formulas. So either use this one, if you know both the first term and the last term, okay? Or you can use this one, okay, if you just are given the sequence and you know the first term and then the difference, all right? So let's take a look at a couple of more examples. So here's a new sequence for you. And let's try this one. So it says, find the sum of the first 20 terms of this particular sequence. So notice in here, so this would have been term one, right? So this is term two and so on. Now, my term one is negative 10. It looks like I'm increasing by five. All right, now it doesn't matter. You can both increase or decrease. So D can be both positive or negative. Okay, so we're gonna be increasing by five. Now I wanna know the 20. So this is gonna be S20 is equal to, I don't know the last term. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this formula right here. Okay, and so I'm gonna use that. Let me copy, bring it down. Okay, so I'll paste it. Right now, let's substitute it in. So they want the 20th term. Okay, so two. My first term is negative 10, so I'll substitute that in. My difference is five. Okay, they want 20. And there we have it. 
So now we can go ahead and compute it. Okay, so I'll do that right now. All right, so there it is. So that's pretty neat. So you can actually create and find out what the sum of these arithmetic series, okay, what it is uh, from a very simple formula. Now, ultimately, it's great if you understood the derivation of it. You know, it is a trick. If somebody doesn't really show it to you, um, you may not know. I didn't come up with this, okay? You know, I studied it in the past, so I'm definitely thankful to, you know, the teachers and books that have put this in there. And I do believe that it was, I think, Gauss's uh, method that this is used. You can look it up if you like. And that is kind of tricking where you take the sequence from the first to last and then you reverse it. And oftentimes what happens, you get this nice balance. Sometimes things cancel off and then you can find a very nice formula. And that's what happened in here. Okay, let's try to apply it to one more example. So here's kind of the last example. So now they give us this. So it's 3, 7, 11, and it continues to 99. Now we want to know the sum. Okay, so in this case, I do have, so I have actually my first term, my second, third, and I have my nth term. Now, I don't know how many terms there are. I do notice that it's increasing by 4. Okay, so my difference is equal to 4. My term 1 is equal to 3, so I have that. I don't really know how many terms I have. Okay, but I do know my nth term. Okay, so let's find how many terms there are. So that we can do from the arithmetic sequence, right? So Tn is equal to term 1 plus the difference n minus 1. So this is 99 equals, um, first one was 3, plus the difference, which is 4. Okay, now we can just solve for n. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to bring this over. It's going to be 96, okay, equal to, let's divide both sides by 4. All right. So we have that. So that's going to be what? Um, 4 into 9 goes 2 times, 16. So that's going to be 24. And minus 1, bring it over. So it looks like n is equal to 25. Okay. So we have that. So now the s, okay, I guess of the 25 terms from here. So the summation, what we would have is, now this one, I'm going to use this formula. So I have n over 2, which is t1 plus tn, because I know the first and last term. And I also know how many terms there are. So this one's a little bit easier to use. And don't worry, because 25 over 2, it doesn't give you an integer number. That's okay. It's going to work out for you as soon as you plug in the rest in here. Okay, so we have that. So that's going to be 12.5 multiplied by, I guess, 102, and you have your answer. So whatever that might be. So 12.5 times 102, 1275. So that's the sum. Okay, so that's another example. All right, so I'll end it here. Hopefully you found these examples useful. Hopefully maybe you understood the derivation. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in a future video. Bye.